Hello, good evening. Well, there's only one place where we can start this evening. That's the truly awful story which has torn out the hearts of a community. Four people, a woman and three children, were found dead at a house in Killamarsh near Sheffield. Now, two of the children were brother and sister John Paul and Lacey Bennett. They're just 13 and 11 years old. They're seen here with their dad, Jason Bennett, who said his heart has been broken into a million pieces. Their mother, Terry Harris, was also found dead, as was another young girl called Connie Gent, a friend of Lacey's, who was at the house on Chandos Crescent for a sleepover. A man has been arrested and police say they're not looking for anyone else. Mark Ansell has spent the day in Killamarsh. A truly horrific story, Mark. Absolutely, Amy. Uh, Killamarsh tonight is a community in mourning and, to be honest, a community in disbelief after the death of a woman, her two children and their friend. Throughout the day today, residents have been laying flowers here and just taking a moment to pause and reflect and try to get their head around what is a really horrific tragedy. A million pieces shattered. Heartbreaking agony for Jason Bennett, the father of two children who were found dead, along with their mother and another child, at a house in Killamarsh. Police were called here yesterday morning after concerns were raised about the welfare of the people inside. Police have arrested a 31-year-old man and say they're not looking for anyone else. The man, officers arrested at the scene, a 31-year-old male from Killamarsh, remains in police custody on suspicion of the murders of Terry, Lacey, John Paul and Connie. A team of detectives have been working through the night to understand what led to their deaths and I would urge anyone with any information to come forward. In a message posted on Facebook, Jason said, Life will never be the same after the death of his children, Lacey and John Paul, who were 11 and 13 years old. The third child was a friend of Lacey's, Connie Gent, who is thought was in the house for a sleepover. John Paul and Lacey's grandparents visited the scene to pay tribute. Just lovely. You can't take... Lacey liked gir girly stuff. Mm -hmm. Lacey was a proper girl, pink and sparkly, and yeah. John was just all into computers and that. They're the most well-mannered children you'd ever meet. Yeah. As kids yeah. nowadays, they were, they were well-mannered. They always remembered the manners. They always pleased and thank you. Yeah. If you ever brought them a present, the first thing they did was go on Facebook and they thank you. I don't know how we're going to manage without them. No. <laughs> The children's school, Outward Academy City in Sheffield, closed today. In a statement it said, Like the rest of the community, we are currently trying to come to terms with this weekend's devastating events. The thoughts and prayers of everyone at Outward Academy City are with those affected. Today, the church in Killamarsh has been open for people to express their condolences. How can you possibly put into words how one feels at receiving the news that four people have died. You know, we appreciate every single day, we plan ahead, we do all of these things. No one can possibly anticipate a tragedy like this, especially in our community. Residents continue to pay their respects throughout the day after this tragedy on their doorstep. Well, uh, the community here are gathering in a green space for a vigil, which is uh, taking place behind the house uh, where the four people died. It's just, just behind in the green space over there. Uh, and there'll be plenty more from Killamarsh in our late bulletin as part of the BBC News at 10. Well, thank you. And our thoughts are with their families.